in this session, we're going to get much more into the specifics of uh, how one of the key modules, job instructions, uh, actually works. And the purpose of this training is intended to give you an overview of what is covered in TWI job instruction training. Uh, the training within industry program for job instruction was developed in order to provide management with a tool whereby supervisors could acquire skill in instructing the people. But why is it necessary? Why do you think it's necessary for supervisors to acquire skills in instructing? The standards like ISO 9001 kind of tell you what to do. They're not specific. But the lean tools, they're the how-to. So TWI is the how-to. It's how to do this. ISO just says, hey, make sure they're competent. Provide whatever they need to make sure that they're competent. TWI gives you the how-to, the methodology of how to ensure people are competent to do their jobs. How to get a person to do a job correctly, quickly, and conscientiously, uh, that's the purpose of job instructions. Uh, job instruction training will solve many or all of these causes or root causes. Job instruction training will allocate training resources and time because it is important. It allows us to do that. It is a standardized training system. Later, what I want to do is demonstrate um, how the methodology actually works out. But to do that, I think we need to kind of first demonstrate how not to teach, how not to train others. And then shape the knot between the thumb and the first finger of the left hand as it is pull taut. Okay, you got it? You go ahead and do that. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay. He doesn't even want to try. He doesn't even want to try. So what was wrong with that method of teaching, of training? Yeah. That was way too much rapid fire instruction without going through it and explaining why and how and But I want to go through the showing <coughs> method. If it was just showing by itself. So I need one more volunteer, please. This is the underwriter's fire knot. You go ahead and do it. Pretty good. Yeah, you got it. All right, good job. So many motions are difficult to copy. There's some tricky points, some points of interest, some, some knacks, some things that we know about because we have a lot of experience. But it's hard to put in words sometimes. That is, that is the methodology. And so again, as we continue on, we're gonna talk about how to develop one of these, which was for me. And so I didn't give it to him, or I didn't even want him to look at it because I don't want to distract him. You know, this is for, is my guideline. Okay, so we'll talk about how to do that and then we'll talk about that, those seven steps that we just went through basically. Let me give you a brief idea about the typical training session, the five days, two hours a day. You want to stick to the plan. Now there have been occasions where I have veered off the plan, but for the most part you want to try to stick to the plan. The idea would not, not be to, to, to give the training in a big old batch. Good, okay. So these are the cards that you keep with you and you use as a constant reminder. This is basically our standard work on how to train. All companies state, at least that's what I've heard, <laughs> um, that they need better training, but few really do anything about it.